How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will. I'm Audrey. And today, what are we playing? We're playing Merchant's Cove with Merchant's Cove. Innkeeper. Innkeeper. And... The Thief. The Thief. So for whatever reason, Audrey likes giving me the thief and the stealing characters, although we both know she's the one that steals from the bank, and she can't be trusted to be the banker here. Hey, Christina with the Jigglypuff. Um, so yeah, we are playing Merchant's Cove. These are the last two characters. One, of course, is the Innkeeper, which is one of the expansion characters. Uh, and then the other is the Thief, which is the secret stash character. Uh, with that said, we'll go ahead and show you guys the board and go over the characters. Let's flip this over. All right, so there we go. Uh, so I'll go over the Thief since he's the special character and the one that people want to know. So with the Thief, and I forgot to mention this during my unboxing video because I forgot he was down there too, but in the bottom of the secret stash, there's actually a board. Uh, there's also his card, a couple of main components that he's going to need. So similar to the Entertainer, which was in Bardwood Grove, where you're going to be able to play as a special character, uh, this was something they kind of threw in there. I hope they have a mini form at some point. If not, maybe I'll have to go out to like Etsy or something like that and see if I can get me a nice little Thief mini tour. I have to find one that's roughly the same time. I don't have a 3D printer. Maybe that's next year's thing. Get 3D printers so we can print inserts and cool stuff for boxes. But I digress, guys. So what the Thief does, uh, there's a couple things that you can't play along with the Thief, or at least I think in a two-player game wouldn't have worked. Um, so if you saw yesterday or this week's video where we had the bonuses, I took those out because I can't get um, faction bonuses. So therefore, obviously we guarantee to get those points. Uh, similarly with the corruption, I can't get corruption, so obviously would get that no matter what. So we took those out. Don't think that's fair. Um, also for the rogue is a special card for the thief themselves. And basically what happens is when the rogues come in, they don't go back into the bag. They stay out there and become more of my band of rogues that I can use for my functions. So the way I get points is I've got this little track and I'm selling intel. I'm selling information about these important leaders, I guess. Uh, so in order for me to sell, same thing as anything else, I'm going to be getting this intel either by taking townsfolk and getting the amount of intel that's listed there. Um, or if I get a corruption card and there's one of the little logos there. Uh, and I'm going to do that for pretty much for most of my goods. I can also get goods by doing counterfeits. So in this case, the only thing I counterfeit is Audrey's beds, which then would give me a large good that I could sell. But it does require me to go down on this track the equivalent amount. So if I ever get down here to the bottom, I must go up a spot. And if I have to do that, I start losing the rest of my intel. So I start losing what I can sell. Um, otherwise, I can get uh, sponsorships by moving my rogues out to the different things. I infiltrate the places. Um, and then in order for me to sell, I must have a rogue on the pier that I'm trying to sell information to. Uh, and all that's done in my little uh, thing here. I basically just move around to the five, well, six different spots I have in my box to do each of those actions. Um, but that's the thief. And then you have the innkeeper. So the innkeeper is going to make beds in these three rooms for the clients that are going to be in the piers, but they have to match the color and the, what is it, the, post, the location? The, yeah, the pier number. The so pier, pier one, number. pier two, pier yeah. three. So yep. um, you have a, if I have a blue bed here, it could be only for blue merchants here and so on and then after that oh and whatever i cannot place in a bed is going to go through the brawl they're gonna fight and they fight. gotta fight it out yeah and then the customers that are here on beds can no wait then i can also make drinks once they become know. a vip once they are here yeah yeah so once they come from the bed i can place them in any of these depending on the color and then they kind of start getting drinks that I am also going to make. And... I think that's it. Also, I think. The brawl, you lose points with the brawl, right? Okay, I lose, I get corruption. Oh, corruption, actually, you get corruption times the number of people in the brawl. Mm -hmm. But the brawl people go back in the bag. The other people stay in um, your place. I can get them out of the brawl. I think they go. I think when you, I think you clear the brawl at the end. 
After resolving uh, the bedrooms, draw one corruption for each adventure in the brawl. Um, That's the corruption, yes, but... I thought it said... If there are no vacant matching color seats, move the person to the door. Finally, draw one corruption. After resolving occupied bedroom, move the person to a matching color seat. Where it becomes a lot oh, it's, I think it's... Oh, there it is. I think it's... You can move them from the brawl to a table with your ability is probably what oh, you it's read. Oh, have the ability. Yeah. Yeah. So they stay in the brawl the whole time? Um, I think so. Only if I get the ability, I can place them either on a table or in the back. I read. Finally, you have three adventures in the brawl. You draw three corruption cards. Yeah, it doesn't say. The bouncer. The bouncer, yeah, the bouncer is the only way. So you got to get some townsfolk in there. Um, so now speaking of townsfolk, uh, hey, David's Pokey Life. Uh, speaking of townsfolk, uh, we did try to throw in the remaining townsfolk that we hadn't played. Uh, one of them doesn't give me any advantage, uh, which are these... I forget what they are. But they're the, they're the, they're the double level up people. They're kind of like, they remind me of like a bar stripes in the military. Uh, Christina might be able to tell me what rank that is. Is it sergeant, the two, the two bars? Or is that private second class? I forget. Christina might tell us. Um, but yes, we added them in. They basically allow Audrey, um, there you go. David is a member for 10 months, 10 months of Ooh. membership. Thank you, David. All that money does go towards Children's Miracle Network. Uh, we'll get from YouTube, so we greatly appreciate his membership. Uh, next year, we hope to do more member items. If we have more members that start coming out more often, uh, we can start doing some more member streams or member pick games where you guys pick the games or member pick content or challenges mm -hmm. and things yeah. maybe. Uh, but yeah, so these allow her to activate her uh, townsfolk and she doesn't have to actually have a townsfolk on that position to use it. So these are these are nice. We added them. We hadn't played them yet. And then the second one we add were these uh, underworld people and they don't look like vampires to me. That one actually looks like a, some kind of pixie. Um, oh no, <laughs> not not vampires. It'd be werewolves. Underworld, underworld is their werewolves. Lichens and well, it's lichens and vampires. Both. Uh, but basically, there are these new goods, which are uh, $12. Oh, David with the super sticker. He's like a super superhero <laughs> duck. There's there's our little ducks. Uh, two is corporal. Okay, so that's corporal. So these are the corporals. We're going to call them the corporals. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are rogue goods. So you can only sell these to rogues. Uh, like a sergeant, but with the without the pay. <laughs> she says without the pay. Uh, but you can only sell those to rogues. So those are special rogue goods that can only be sold to rogues, which should be pretty easy for Oddity, uh, which means I need to stop her from getting those because my entire purpose is getting rogues onto the peers. Um, the only, I think that's the only change, right? Because everything else we took off from last week. Uh, we left the festival out there. We think the festival's kind of cool. So we left that out there. But I think that's it. So we need to set up our boats. So we need a four, a four, a four, a four, a five, a four. That would be a five. That would be a four. <laughs> use, use the boat to get the boats. <laughs> Bring the boats back. Four. 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 You need all the rest of the fours. Mas cuatros. Come on, you can get it. Either one, either one. Which one can you get? <laughs> I can't reach them. They're gonna. Oh, your table. There you go. Get the ta Use the table. There we go. Use the table. Use the table. <laughs> now what happens when we need the zoom? You better bring him. Bring him now. Can you get him? Oh, you made it worse. You made it worse. We really need this. We really need the hook. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Christina is just busting up laughing. Don't be laughing at us. Now, Christina, you're supposed to go through all of our videos of all of our games that we've played because you have to decide which ones you want us to bring uh, for Thanksgiving. All right. So we got our boats. Oh, now we need to get our meat place. So, again, I don't know why I, I, I do that. Because, <laughs> like you said, I can just have them all up here and make it. Make it a little easier. <laughs> He's trying to jump out the boat. No, it's not your time. You must, you must, you must stay in there. Wait, till, wait till, wait till, wait till Audrey has a blue bed. And I have some blue intel. So these are both very unique 
in the way they play. Um, I know that according to Mike Delisio, who did a good overview, and that's what Oddity has been watching to learn how to play. Each of them. Where's the claw? Yeah, the claw. <laughs> uh, but she's been watching that. But he rated that as a four. The innkeeper is a four, and he didn't go over uh, the thief's difficulty because he didn't want to uh, ruin it for anybody. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, wow. well, no, but that's good for me because I need corruption. Ah, that works out for me. I was like, oh, no. no there is no repeated one. I don't know what bed to start making. Oh, because you have to, st Wait, I have do to you start have to, you have to start the with bed. the bed, don't you? I have to yeah, but you guess. can flip, right? But the, the make bed lets you flip it over too, right? I think. Ooh. Yeah, I think the make bed allows you to flip it. Oh, no, this bed allows you to flip it. So, so you don't know what to get first, then do like we like we learned last time. You should always get these first, right? And technically, you know this one's going to be a good benefit because you get 12 goods to sell to a rogue because I'm going to have a, a rogue most likely out there at some point. So what is the difference between this one and this one? I activates only all, one. activates one. Mm -hmm. Activates all, activates only one. Okay, yeah. So what, what happens if I buy a person that gets rid of a corruption because I don't have corruption? I guess nothing happens. But I wonder if it's if you it says I, if I get me. a small good, like, yeah, I don't think I get any of the bottom benefit. I don't think it's specifically said, but I don't think I get any of the bottom benefit. I printed out these rules and they're not very well done. Um, it printed weird, like the page numbers weren't even, so like nothing is like in the right spots. Sponsorships, hidden influence. Uh, here we go, pit pocket. Place a rogue above the town square, uh, gain the faction icons on the townsfolk, then discard uh, the action. Okay, so yeah, I only get the stuff at the top. I should get the rogue goods though too. Yeah, I think I should get the rogue oh. goods too. These are also only for the bed above it. Okay. The drinks are only only for the for the bed for the room that is. Well, that doesn't make sense. It says each one is correlated to a bedroom. Same place in that. What it means? Yeah. This action cost depends on the on this action cost depends on the chosen spot, space. Chosen. So. Move one drink small good from your supply to the sales shelf that matches the bed in the bedroom directly above the action space. You cannot take this action if there's no bed. Oh, I think it's only tied in the sense that it, I think it's only tied in the sense that it matches the bed. Not that it has to be in that room, because you can think about it. If, if this, if your VIPs are here, this is where you're serving the drinks to. You serve the drinks no, to these are, guys. No, to yeah, because they won't be there anymore. Yeah, because for each, yeah, here. For each bedroom matching customer, the bed gain the gold price. Gain the bed gold an additional time for each matching color. Oh no, it's per loyal customer. Remove the bed. After resolving occupied bedroom, remove customer to matching seat that becomes loyal customer and makes this again. There is no vacant seat, they go to the brawl. Finally draw one corruption card for each image. What do you do with the drinks? How do you sell your drinks? I was going to three. Look for it. Three. After resolving each occupied bedroom, move the customer. Oh, that's moving. You cannot take this action if there is no bed in the bedroom above the action space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it can only make two beds at the time. So, you sell the drink and the bed to the same person. During the marketplace, you may sell drinks the drink has a beer or black. Like other merchants, you do not produce large goods. Okay, so the drinks are sold at the market. Okay, so the drinks are sold at the pier. The beds are your your large goods. Okay. So this is like the small goods. That's your small goods. You still sell it. The, you still sell that to the guys at the pier. Yep. So you still sell it at the pier. Run away, blue. Where's the claw? All right. Okay. So I think we got that. All of that to figure out that these are very complicated characters. All right. So we are going to roll our extra life dice. That's how we decide who goes first. Hey, Lannistan, just in time to watch us, like, completely ruin both of these characters. <laughs> these two merchants are going to probably be a little bit harder. Uh, but uh, we do support Extra Life Charities. We mentioned it earlier. We are still doing our big giveaway. 
Uh, $10 donation with the link below does enter you into a giveaway of almost $500 worth of board games. Thanks to our different sponsors. Uh, if you'd like to enter on that, that's going to go till the end of November. If you can't donate $10, that's fine as well. We did have a $1 donation. $1 helps the children just as much as $10. Um, I forget, I had a little, one of those little, uh, what are they called? Graphics, infographics, and they showed how far $1 went. And you'd be amazed. $1 goes a long, long way uh, in helping the kids. Um, so we're going to roll this. Uh, do you want even or odd? I will need your help, Lanny Stump. Oh, innkeeper. Okay, yeah. So she she needs, she <laughs> might need help her with the innkeeper. The thief, though, he's different. Even or odd? Odd. Odd. You are an odd one. Uh, Ocho is not odd. Never, Ocho never is even. Said. All right. So I get to go first, and I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so, again, I don't know who's coming in either. So I'm going to... I guess as my first action, I'm going to do the this. I mean, I just got to start getting stuff, right? So I get to draw three cards, and then I get to keep two, which they're all the same, so it didn't matter, um, which didn't help me as much as I wanted it to. All right. Well, that was no good. Um, if it's got the green symbol or red symbol or whatever, then I get that intel as well, but none of them had it. All right, and that cost me, wow, that cost me two time for nothing. One, two. All right, your turn. Your turn. Yeah, that was not very advantageous. This is going to be like the Oracle all over again. It's just going to be so, like, con convoluted. Hmm. Layer tile. Uh, well, what was the innkeeper in Lost, but only because the extra pair, the extra layer tile that adds five. Oh, so you played what we played uh, Thursday. He played with that extra corruption and the extras. Oh, okay. And, and that's the nice thing about this game, Lannis, as I've noticed, is, is after you've got the basic game down, then you can start adding in all the extra goodies. Because you can play them in almost every single mode, except for this one. Like, it would not be fair in two-player. We did look at that. We are like, well, some of this stuff probably doesn't work well at two players. But if you had more, then it would be more fair. So we had to take those out for this gameplay because I can't get any of that stuff. All right, so you're gonna go. You're gonna go there. Or you're gonna hire a person first. I think you should hire a person first. Do you want the girl that the girl that gives you the rogue goods, or I don't think you need to activate any of your abilities right now, right? Because there's nothing for you to activate. I think she's probably she's probably your best. You got that, and then you put this on your table, which is now way too far away from you. <laughs> All right, so that goes on your table. So you now have twelve, twelve dollars so to I sell. Put her here anywhere? She go, yeah. You put her in whichever space you think you're gonna need the most. I'm thinking you're. Yeah, I think she the needs best. to be your bouncer. I'm thinking she needs to be oh. your bouncer, because yeah, remember, because yeah, yeah. each one of those gives you corruption. So I think she needs to be your bouncer. All right, so that is that. Uh, and that was two time. One, two, you're on top, you go again. Oh, hang on, you went to the wrong one. Um, she should have been here. You should have been there, not there. Oh. Yeah. This one is for what? Hmm? Ah, to activate that. Yeah, it's to activate, you couldn't activate. That's fine. I mean, here's the thing, if you want to make a bed, your your best chance right now is to make a yellow bed if you look at it right because each, each of those two two of well, the three have well these are small well you could even do here though you're right right now yellow is the most if you want to make a bed first yeah i'm gonna make a bed all right so you're gonna make a yellow or blue bed you're gonna make them for the rogue side you can move. You, you can do. You can do it later. This does be in. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't make beds until you know one of your colors is coming from. All right. So you can't do that. <laughs> the problem is she can't make anything else right now. I don't know what else to do. Because <laughs> you can't. She can't recruit I somebody to just, again. Like, be lucky and get yellow people. Yeah. You, she can't recruit somebody. She can't make drinks because she doesn't have any beds in her rooms. Yeah, because the position of the bed matches here. 
But she right, can't she but... can't do anything else. There's nothing else she can do. She can't activate that girl because the girl lets her um take people from here, but I don't have any Yeah, left bag gets yeah, we know yeah, so whatever's here, whatever yeah, is is the three the three peers. The problem is is she can't she can't anticipate that. I, right now I don't have anything that tells me oh. Going well, the thing is, is here's the thing. You, you're guaranteed to get a yellow in the small pier. You're guaranteed. Because every every boat has yellow except for one. So even if even if this boat came here, one of these boats is going to have to go here. So you're guaranteed to get yellow. So Could make a bed, but uh, then you knows what color you want. Yeah, you're right. I mean, <laughs> it, it's a catch twenty two. That because he has she has no ability she can make now. Though um, you could make yellow drinks. So at least you could do that, right? To smell, to sell small goods. And she can, I mean, she can always recruit one of these guys. I don't know if you, Lance, when you came in, we are playing with the uh, corporals, as my sister calls them. Uh, and the corporals allow you to take any one action, even if you don't have a person in that spot. So she could actually recruit this and then flip the bed if she needed to by basically recruiting the townsfolk, so. All right, so that was two time, one, two. And then, I do, do you want to do here or do you want to take from the island? Currently you're working with yellow something and you don't want to take from the island. No, <laughs> Let's move this away from the microphone. To be a yellow, but not. It's Azul. Donde? <laughs> oh, I mean, you can plan. This uh, is your planning. Currently, I have zero zero intel, so I'm not selling a thing. I forgot how they come here. Which ones come here? And these three can come here. These three can come here. So both, uh, all of them yeah, can all of them here. can right now because the spot's open. In the yellow butt with the... In the yellow butt? What? Boat. Boat? <laughs> <laughs> not in the yellow butt. Oh, man. Are those bars like two bars? I I. No, they're no, they're 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 the they're the. The That the triangle triangle. Yeah, they're they're the I can't lift it up. They're the triangle bars. They're, that's why I said sergeant. I knew I knew they weren't captains, officers bars. All right, um, so my turn. So that didn't do me much good last time. So I need to. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to send one of my rogues to pit pocket. And I'm going to pit pocket. Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to pit pocket her. And pit pocket her, so that gives me one blue. Puts me at four. Uh, gives me one corruption, uh, which gives me a yellow. And I can't increase my corruption anymore. And it gives me a corruption, which I can't do. And then gives me one time. And then she is adios. And then just slide down, slide down, slide down. And replace. All right. And then it's my turn again. So now I have some goods. Um, so what can I do? All right, I have yellow and I have blue, which is small goods. All right, so I'm going to send one of my rogues to the pier. I'm going to send him to the small pier. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to draw my oh, yeah. my person, which is fine. I was going to draw him anyways. <clears throat> All right, which technically means that I may not have wanted to do that move. I forgot to do that first. All right, I'm gonna send, I got to send one guy to a pier. I think I'm gonna send him to the yellow pier. I guess these don't matter if they're standing up or laying down because you can see the colors on the top of their heads. All right, there you go. Uh, hello, back to the cove, I see. Yeah, Ryan, this is what, uh, we put up a poll. Uh, we used to do voter polls, which you guys wanna see us play. Um, so we did it again because it was between this and finishing off the villainous characters. Uh, and this one, so these are the last two. It's the innkeeper and the uh, thief. Uh, so yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with making that move that I made. So puts me there. I get to go again. 
we get to go to today's times. All right, I need Moss Intel, so I can get some green Intel, red Intel, or more green Intel. Um, or I can send my guys out to the guild halls, but right now we, the guild halls don't have a lot of people in them. All right, I think I'm going to go send my guys to Pit Pocket again. I'm going to have him Pit Pocket this guy here. So that gives me one red. Um, and then I have to I get... Well, I don't get a corruption. I got a corruption from that time. But one corruption, but I'm already maxed out. And then I get one robe goods. Maybe I don't get these. Because I'm not supposed to get what's on the bottom. So no, these don't actually help me. Because that would that would be too that'd be too overpowered. Because I would just keep recruiting the guys that give me these, because I'd be guaranteed to be able to sell them. So yeah, I guess I yeah, I don't think I get those. We'll play that I'm not supposed to, because it says I'm not supposed to get like whatever's down here either. We'll just play that I'm not supposed to get those. Ah! <laughs> twins! It's the twins! <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, and that's what we're thinking about, Ryan, next year is, is finding ways to get more things for our memberships, right? So things like um, you guys choosing what games we play or, you know, special types of uh, videos, things like that for our members. Um, so we go. So that went, I went one. Uh, oh, no, that cost me two. Oh, ooh, that cost me two. Uh, and then I'm going to pick the island, which gives me on corruption. Did I, did I draw my corruption last time I did that? Nope, I didn't. Alright. So I get... This doesn't help me. This doesn't help me. The green helps me, though. Alright. And then I'm going to put him. I've already got guys on that pier, so I need guys over here on this pier. I'll put him in that boat right there. I need to see if there is an FAQ for the thief anywhere. I'm curious if you can use the tunnel entrances in the side of the box to wrap around the other side when you move the little guy. So I did one. Oh, he can just go anywhere. You don't have to, like, go through the tunnel. You just move them anywhere you want. I didn't think you have to move them specifically in the locations. I think you just... It's just, I think, for cosmetics. I don't think it... I don't think I have to go in a particular order. I don't remember it saying that. Because it's just actions. The only thing it says about move is this here. Um, and this involves with the counterfeiting. But it costs movement points to move him. When your turn begins, if your rogue leader is not on the lowest space of the movement track, move them up one space. Uh, after hours, hazardous. Corrupt. When you would gain any of these things, dream one intel corruption, one icon, one step. Must gain the indicated intel possible. Yeah, which I know I can gain based on the corruption card. The only time I know that I was supposed to lose that is when I do counterfeiting. Like, nowhere do I see that I have to pay to move my guy around the town. I don't know if I should make a yellow. I mean, you can always sell. Yeah, yeah, you can smell. You can sell a small yellow drink to them. So I mean, why not? But then I, I need to do it here. That's why there are roads in the box, so an action might be two spaces away. Yeah, I get that, but nowhere does it say I spend movement points to do that. Like nowhere. Like when you get to the actions. It doesn't say you spend movement points. The only time in here that it speaks about losing your movement points is when you counterfeit. 
Move one rogue from one space to the X space. Then lose rogue intel equal to what was gained. But this is my rogue intel. Did they, did they just forget to put that in the rules at all? That I have to pay for movement? I mean, it makes sense. I know what you're saying. It's on the lamb rule. Yeah, so on the lamb, when your turn begins, if your rogue leader, which is this guy here, is on the lowest space, which would be here, then move him up a space. Each turn, your rogue leader figure must move, spending one rogue intel per space moved. Oh, uh, they, they screwed up. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not my rogue leader. This is supposed to be my rogue leader. They, they, they put that's a typo. That's wrong. See, this is the rogue leader. That's not my rogue leader. I mean, he is because that's me. I'm the thief. That they screwed up. They screwed up the wording in there. Okay, so that makes that makes sense, Studio. Which I don't. I think I'd still be maxed out because every single turn so far I've gotten corruption cards. So I'd still be maxed out. So, all right. So now I know. So, yeah. So that's definitely a, a typo in the in the book. It should basically say your. Um, they should clarify it saying it's your thief. Your thief mover, your worker, whatever they called it when you were uh, doing the setup. Place one rogue into the... Yeah, this is your merchant figure. See, it should have said... Yeah, well, the FAQ, they had an errata, but it doesn't say anything about the secret stash character because no one is supposed to know about it, I guess. Um, but yeah, they call it your merchant, right? Your rogue merchant. They should say ro rogue merchant instead of rogue leader. Because this is, technically, this is your rogue leader. Because that's what they mentioned in the first sentence. Okay, that makes sense. I did this. All right, so you made a drink. All right, so, drink. All right, so that's... I moved it once. Okay, so then once. you get to draw but or pull the from right the... Because yes, because it's yellow. Mm -hmm. On this one. Mm -hmm. And that cost you one time. So then... What yeah, Uno? Azul again. Don't they? With the. There you go. Okay. So you're still behind, so you get to go again. All you can do is make beds. Kind of still go there Could. or there. Could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I get to pull the I get to pull the next character. Basically, if I decide to bring that boat in, yeah. Well, but there are blues there too. So. Well, currently I can't sell any large goods at all, so. Oh, uh, but yeah, can I still put a yeah? Can yeah, you can put a large a blue, bed a there. No, not not Roja. Azul. Azul. All right. That and that is two. Oh no, you actually get to do it. Never mind. I was wrong. One, two. You get to choose the next one. So, you want the blue one from the island? Yes. All right. It's a blue from the island. And I guess you want them over here. Alright, and then you do get Uno Corruption! Corruption para mi amor. Alright, um... Okay, so now I know about that movement thing. Right, I need some Azul. So, I got one guy left, so I'm going to go... One, two. So, that calls me two movement. One, two. And then I'm going to counterfeit the blue so so i cannot place anybody there <laughs> hmm? no 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 i'm i'm count i'm counterfeiting your bed so that then so when i counter when i counterfeit the bed then it counts as a large good to sell for me um counterfeit um large good so i get two intel one two hey that's still small Still a small good. <laughs> Even the counterfeit. Mm -hmm. 
That's so sad. Hmm. I mean, one intel based on the size. So I get large, I get two intel. Then it says lose rogue intel equal to what was gained, one or two. So I guess, again, yeah, I see, you see, Lannister, that's the same thing. It's saying, like, your rogue intel. Well, this was all my rogue intel, but then in one other space, it calls it non rogue intel. So I guess this is my rogue intel, one, two. I guess. Because I'm gaining the blue, and I'm losing the. My, my movement. What do I choose? Can I lose any, any until I want? Yeah, they're very, very, yeah, very confusing on on what specifically they mean because they they use the same terminology for everything. It just says lose intel, so I'm wondering if I can just lose any intel that I choose. All right, so if I wanted to, I could lose. Still losing two of that since there's no greens. I could lose that instead. It keeps my yellow and my red, and that keeps me there. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's what I could do. Okay, that's what I'm gonna play oh, with. What? Yeah, could have... be either call. Yeah, because it's all intel. Yeah, I'm guessing because in one spot they do mention the word non-rogue intel. They call it non non rogue intel. Yeah, so information broker. Non rogue intel is your equivalent to goods, and they're sold like goods in the marketplace. So they're saying non non rogue intel, and they're calling this rogue intel. But then later they say you sell your rogue intel. Oh, you, you can you can go ahead. That was no, that cost I me. I have a question. That cost me two times. If you counterfeit this bed, though, I don't have the bed. Anymore. No, you still have the bed. So can I still make a blue drink? Yeah, you can still make a blue drink. Uh, and then I have to draw. Let me play. Mm -hmm. One, two, and I draw one, two. Uh, yeah, two or pull from the island. Helps you. Okay. So I cannot sell my bed. I mean, I cannot... <laughs> oh, large goods I can only... Oh, the extra large goods I can only sell there. Okay, where do you want them? <laughs> On the island. <laughs> you can't put them on the island. <laughs> it's funny, and I just got rid of my green too. Green, there with the yellow one, and the other one. You want them, right? So I don't want you to have. Either way, I get them, but. The oh the red boat. Red boat. Red boat. Either way, I get them. Doesn't matter if they come in or don't come in. I, they come back to my lair at the end. Well, if they're in the boat, they come back to my lair. If they're on the pier, then I have to use an action to bring them back. Okay. Um. So I have two movement. All right. Oh, I got red. I don't like any of it. It's all green. It's all, all green goods. The only thing I can sell at the third pier is the my extra... Well, my extra large goods can only be sold at the big pier. Um, I need... I'm going to need more walking because once I move, I'm going to need more walking. So... Right. 
So I'm going to go here, which drops me down one. Go up three. Um, so I get to go up one, two, three, four. Four, and then I do get one red good. Right, and then that cost me two time. One, two. Uh, I get two meeples. I don't have any greens, so I really don't want those green guys coming in. Um, I would be fine for me. Oh! No, I won't be able to do anything here. You... Oh, because the majority is red now and blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, you'll... if you flip the bed over, you're fine. Have somebody to flip the bed. Yeah, you do. Well, yeah, I have to do that. And use her to flip the bed. Or him. Her? Him? I don't know what it is. It's a thing. Alright. Uh, oh, so <laughs> they. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that goes there, that goes there, it goes there. Alright. Oh, and I get a corruption because I did from the island, which gives me a red good. And I'm maxed out on my corruption track. That is very helpful for the for the rogue. It's almost like there's no reason, like you don't want to play with that with the rogue because basically I, I'm going to always pull from the island unless I'm looking for a particular color um, because I get to increase my goods possibly. Do you need more blue goods? So I want to bring in the bad day. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, there's him. That brings my other rogue in, which worked out for me. And then I get to draw another corruption card because I took from the island. Ooh, Mas Rojo. Uh, but I can't even sell big red because there's no big red goods over there to sell. Okie dokie. Smokey. Smokey. All right, do that no. That one. All right, so that you activate one ability. Well, you don't have to put that there. I mean, you, you get to choose what ability you want to activate. But, but I'm guessing but, but, but you want one but, always. One always. No, no. Well, this particular turn, you get to activate one ability. So. Oh, so I can change every turn. Hmm. Kind of no, 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 no. She, by obtaining her or him, by obtaining they, <laughs> you get to activate ability right now. And the ability you want to activate is flipping your bed, right? Do you want to also have them there or do you want to put them on one of the other spots? I and think I that's a very, I think that's a very important spot. So that probably is your best spot to put them. Okay. I was just letting you know, just because that was the action you were taking didn't mean it had to stay. You had to put it at that action. You could have put it somewhere else if you wanted to. Oh, That's all I was saying. Okay. That's fine. All right. So you do that. You flip your bed. Um, and then... What was it? Uh, it was this one. It was one plus a corruption. It, she was all about... To, that one was, was about... She was about to fall off. Here. No, they were about to fall off. Which is why I was saying if you wanted to do that, you needed to do that now. Although now you have this one, which allows you to activate all of them. Including getting rid of Corruption. Yeah. Although you're going to get Corruption. Alright, so it's, uh, and then you move one. Yep. yep one. Uh, and then you get to go again. Make a... Oh, you already have a blue drink. I guess you could make another blue drink. Um, Alright. One. Yeah, it's weird. One's one, one's two, one's one with corruption. It's kind of weird. All right. Uh, so you passed go, but all the boats have docked, so there's no um, meeples to pull. So I get one more turn. Oh, I need to get that blue to max, man. Oh, and you get to sell to one of my rogues, too. 
I get to sell my roads. I need more blue. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to counterfeit with this guy. I'm going to counterfeit the blue. That gives me. Oh, I don't want to. Never mind. I'm going to counterfeit. Let me drink. Because I think if I don't use it, I think I lose it. I think I like my it, it goes down to zero. Uh, send black market. Remember to discard the drawn corruption. Defense. Make a sale. Treat the position. Uh, size equal to position. And track. Colors the same. When you make a sale, multiply value by the intel number. Determine the sale price. Then you must move the faction leader back to the bottom. Okay. That's why I thought when I sell, it goes all the way back down to the bottom. So I lose it all. So that's why I don't want to go up to 24. So what happens with my bed and my... You still have them. That's just showing what I duplicated. That's all. It's just showing what I was counterfeiting. That's all. But if you counter... I'm making a fake copy. Me. I'm making a fake copy of your bed and I'm making a fake copy of your drink. It's not as good. I, I, I was confused with confiscate. Oh, no, not confiscate. Like, oh, sorry. How are you here? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no. Not mine anymore. No, I'm, 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 I'm counterfeiting. Yeah. Counterfeit. All right, so there we go. Now we go to selling goods. Uh, so we have the blues over there. So blue has a majority on uh, the big pier. So you get to bring him in. You take you take a meeple. Take one meeple. Mm -hmm. And he goes to sleep. Yep. Uh, and you get eight oh, eight dollars. He's paying you eight dollars. Yep. All right. Um, hang on. Do I... Well, it's simultaneous. The scoring is simultaneous, so he technically wouldn't have left yet. So I still would have been able to sell to him before he went to your bed. Yeah, I guess I have to go first, because I so we can do the math, so we know how many's there. Because you took him from me, but technically I still get to sell to him. So one, two, three, three times sixteen. Is what? Forty-eight. We're doing this again. Oh, 48. Yeah, forty-eight. Wow, that was a lot. All right. Um, I can't sell to the yellow guy there. So you guys go back to the bag. You hang out on the pier. All right, so this one here, so you can choose either blue or red. I'd imagine you're gonna choose blue. Um, I can't sell large goods here. Um, there's three blue. I have no blue to sell. So I get a lot, but that's a problem for me. I just, I because this goes down to zero, I can't sell to those three guys. Um, I can sell the yellow guy though. So that gives me four. 52. Um, to the yellow guy. Uh, you're going to take a blue guy, which gives you another eight. So that puts you at 16. Those two guys from the bag. Um, oh, hang on. You get to sell. Oh, I'm going Hang on. No, no, no. You're going to sell your drinks. So you had three blue guys times eight. So three times eight is 24. Uh, 24 and 16 is 40. Uh, whoosh. All right, uh, and then there was one yellow guy. I'm gonna take your drinks off now. Uh, one yellow guy, how much is yellow? Four. 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 <laughs> Four. Uh, you had no red. Uh, he stays there, and then neither one of us have anything to sell to these guys here, right? They all go back in the bag. La bag. Z bag. All right. Um, so then you move your, now you have to move them down here, right? Um, after gain the gold printed on the bed, gain the bed's gold price in addition to time for each matching colored customer sitting at a table, which you didn't have any, move the bed and place it into your supply. Move the bed, place it into your supply. Nope, supply. Oh, you get, uh, give me your, give me that thing. My robe was there too. So, uh, so you get another 12. Uh, what do you get? 
Wow. I, that's the thing. I sold one thing and got like really, really far, but then all the little things you can sell keeps you ahead. So that's but, actually but, pretty good. But. Hmm? But what, what? Um, what about? They just, I, no, I, no, I have to call them back. I can, I have um, to call my guys back. They stay wherever they are until I call them back. So that's an extra level of complexity to my character is calling all my rogues back. So they remain here. Yep. So they remain there. So next time you make a blue bed, you'll get extra points for them being down there. You get points times a number of loyal customers. Loyal customers. So now this is where like, in, and Mike Delisio mentioned in his video, right? You got to try to make sure blue comes in now, right? Because you got more blue, right? Whatever color you have the most of, you want to try to make sure that color comes in now. So that way you can get the most. Me, I want to try to prevent that color from coming in, right? Uh, no sponsorship, right? You don't have any sponsorships yet. Um, I don't get sponsorships. I think, no, I, get sponsor uh, I think yours is an activation. I think it's that very first one. I think you activate sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bartender, uh, gain immediate sponsorship. Yeah, so you don't gain sponsorship at the end of the round. Okay, so we have, oh, it's a full house of boats today. So we need the other cinco, y dos, y dos, y dos, y dos, y dos. All right, so it goes in the first boat. Can you reach him? Second boat. Second boat. Third boat. Yeah, they, they stay until I call them back. That's why I said I have to call them back. Basically, oh, no. once once I get one rogue at each, you pretty much can just leave them there. As long as I don't need them for something else. But same thing is the more rogues I have at a pier, I can multiply. Now, when we're running with the two and the five, we put three and the fives, right? You're running the two and the, the five. The actual objective of this game is to... To make sell the most money. Selling. Yeah, try to make the most money. We're getting most of the merchants of the color of the goods that you have, so you can multiply that value by the, the amount of merchants of that color. Yeah, so you're basically... Each, the thing is with this one, and this is what's called an asymmetric game, and that's because each person um, is played differently um, based on the character you choose. And there's different difficulties in the characters. Um, like the blacksmith we paid, played first was pretty easy. You just, it's like dice rolling. So you just move around to the different spots based on your dice. Um, she did the alchemist, which was like dropping like things drop down you have to kind of think okay i want to make red here's a red here's a red this is going to drop down that gives me another red okay now i can make a big red item um the dragon keeper was basically laying out food so the dragons got bigger um i played the captain which was like this spinning wheel and you had to go around this island to try to find treasure um the oracle was a pain in the butt um i had to like throw dice into a thing where based on where it was laying in the thing meant what actions I could actually take. It, it was, yeah, it was hard. Um, and then I'm playing the thief now and the thief controls these robes and I have to send them out to steal or counterfeit items or, or whatever. So each one plays different. And the nice thing about that is if you are either new to gaming or even a little bit used to gaming and you know you like a particular type of game, like a roll and write or a, you know, um, flip and write, or I don't even know what to call him. <laughs> plan, plan and write. <laughs> There's no writing, though. I, they all play a little different, right? So everybody can kind of play the character they feel fits them the best. All right. Um, and since, um, since you crossed first, whoever crossed first gets to go first in the next... No. River Cross first doesn't go first, so I get to go first. Right. So this goes up to here. This goes here. Here. All right. So I get to go. Um, I need my rogues back. So that's going to cost me one time to get three rogues back. Um, 
So I will take the rogue back that's at the beds. I'll take him back. I will take him back and him back. You made it up. Yeah, we'll have to get a little one of those little LED lights. And we can change the color for, for, for the holidays. Get two of them so we can have red and green. Um, all right. CCC. All right. So that cost me one time to call my three guys back. All right. Back to you. Where are my rogues at? <laughs> yeah. Where's my rogues at? You're really going to focus on that blue one, aren't you? All right. I don't know. One, two. Two time. That's what you keep hearing. <laughs> Where are my rogues at? Okay, that's what he's hearing. Where are my rogues at? Rojo. Are we the rojo? The pretty yeah. boat. And the pretty boat. Pretty, 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 pretty girl. Oh, boat. All right, what do I want? Um, I like that red there. I do. I do appreciate that red being there. Um, oh, I know. Because he doesn't like the water fountain at the bottom for whatever reason. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna move my rogue here, and then that is one time for me. Red in this boat. Brings all those guys in. Uh, since I took it from there, I, I take a corruption there. card. I shouldn't have put that red there because I needed the blue. I needed this pot. Yeah, but you need the blue. blue. Oh, here you need blue. Yeah, yeah, blue ones can't go there no more. And then again, you don't lose your beds between rounds. I need that because my red is. Um, Oh, I've moved twice, haven't I? I've moved one, two, yeah, okay. Moved twice. I'd fixed my guy over here. I forgot to move him. Uh, the tricky part with the innkeeper is the more colored your table, the less there are in the game. Probably why you add an extra of each color. My third round, I got very few points from beds because I planned for that. Ah, uh, yeah, because you got to think about it. That I would, have yeah, when you have them all there. Like, remember the. Thursday's game, we had all so many reds here. Red wasn't coming out anymore. It was like making red things was not yeah. going to be worthwhile. All right. If I get to go again. Oh, I'm running out of uh, I'm running out of movement. So I'm going to go one, two. So that costs me two movement. Get to draw three. One, two, three. I will keep these two. Uh, so that moves me up three. One, two, three. Moves this up one. Yeah, so the reason Lannister and I read that, I was reading that that if I had to move my move tracker, it was kind of like a negative thing, right? It was kind of like a a negative that you had to move that up because you didn't plan ahead of time to make sure you'd have moves. So it was making you lose intel because of that. But it does make sense that I'm moving and it has to move you up one because otherwise how could I take another action? So it makes it makes sense that way. Oh, uh, two. One, two. Of course I'm gonna go that way. And corruption. Yeah, that the rogue anything with corruption, this is the funnest part about the thief. With the thief, I'm going after everything that gives me corruption because it helps me. Because it helps me. Alright, so it's your turn. I don't get to draw meeples because I didn't pass it yet. I think I have a Casper on my tongue. Yeah, you just go down here to this action. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. I figured it out. All right, so one, do you want to go the long way or short way? Long. No, this was no, two. All right, but it's your turn again. But I was here. Yeah, you said long way. That's a long way. You were here. One, two. Oh, I thought it was here. No, I don't think you were here. 
because that's how I was still. Because mine was two. Yeah, we were we were both on four because mine was two as well. All right, so it's your turn again. Don't know what small things you need. I mean, you can always prep and make small red drinks. I think, uh, Lannister, that's probably what it is. You probably want to make a whole bunch of like different colored drinks for that final round. So then you have them in case you don't have the the bed. Oh, uh, gotta lay it down to get them. We really, the way we play, we could. We, it does not even look like well, it's because right. it's hitting the light. I'm gonna do it like this, so it's not. There you go. Hey, now it's not even light. Oh. And oh, okay. I'm so that. Oh, uh, another corrupt. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need to uh, discorrupt. <laughs> that is one. All right. Oh, you passed go. You collect two hundred dollars. Oh, unless you wanted a green. No. Oh, do we? Do we? Do we cycle? We didn't. We forgot to cycle, didn't we? Yeah, we forgot to move these guys. We forgot to cycle. I was thinking about that. I was like, we forgot something. Forgot to cycle those out. So actually, that makes her cheaper. Out of the day. What do you want them? In the green boat? Put the green one in the green boat? Or in the little dinghy? Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have any green yet. I can get some though. Alright, so I'm going to go here. Cost me one movement. And then I'm going to recruit. Who do I want to recruit? Now green is green is green, so I'm going to recruit this one here. Maybe. Alright, so I get one green from her. I get one corruption from her. And then it costs me a corruption and a time. Oh, she, she doesn't go in there. She goes under that one. Uh, which gives me a yellow. And more time. Or more movement spaces. Alright, and then we slide everybody down. And there we go. All right, and that cost me a oh, one time. I'm still on top. Um, hmm. So with my infiltration, oh, okay, that's that's during scoring. I'll do that. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to move one of my rogues into the red hall. And that cost me one time. Oh, and one movement. It's that one movement I keep missing. Alright, so you're going to make a blue in the middle. Alright, yeah, you can still get blue there. Alright. One, two. You place. There's not a lot of meat blades left in there. Bring the, bring the green in. Bring them in. Bring them in for big goods or small goods. Right now, I can sell small good greens. You can still make a big good green yeah. bed. Everybody out of the pool. All right. Hey, best of Star Trek. How you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Oh, it's me, Tarano. Did you move your... See, see, see. I moved. Okay. All right. I need Mas Verde, but I can't hire... Oh, I forgot to put the person... Uh, it was this one. Yeah. I forgot to put my, my personal there. To pit pocket. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I'm going to mm -hmm. I got somebody at each pier, so I'm not really going to necessarily need. I need I need more red. All right, so I'm going to counterfeit. So that's going to be where's my counterfeit at? Get there. One, two. 
and two. So I'm going to counterfeit your red bed. Or no, I'm going to counterfeit your red drink because I only need one. Counterfeit the red drink. It doesn't matter. It costs me the same. Yeah, it costs me one time instead of two time. So that costs me one time. Um, so we go there. And then I get to do on me play. Um, I'll go ahead and do this green guy here. And then I get to take a corruption. I think. <laughs> After I duplicated yeah. your drink. Oh. Like, because I could have done the, like, pull three cards action, too. And I didn't. Uh, but I get one, two, anyway, so. I, I don't know if in the last round I should have pop somebody here because anybody who I cannot put in a bed goes in there. Oh, if you didn't have a bed for that location. And I don't remember what it was. You took two blues. You didn't take somebody from the last... Oh, no, you took... What two pairs did you have? I got... I sold the two blue beds. Yeah, it was like, it was like and... yellow or... Here, here. I know there was yellow. There was yellow. I'll just give you a yellow one. Um, and they were in there, so you would have gotten another corruption card. Yeah, you definitely need to start getting rid of corruption. No, the, the, the person who helps me with that is not there. Mm, see, you do that and you, get, you oh, can wow. activate all of your stuff. You don't have to activate them all. You can activate the ones you want. So basically, you could activate the red and get $5, five points there. The rogues count as a red because they're there, because um, they're pretending, right? So you get to do that and you get to remove a corruption if you did that. Uh, so I went, um, I moved one. Oh no, wait a minute, that was my one, was putting me here, wasn't it? Because that's why I drew a meeple. All right, so it's my turn again. Um. I can get some more, yeah. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to one, two, one, two. I'm going to, oh, I don't have any meat place. One, two, one, two. Uh, I have to do the recall, one. Uh, recall three, I'll recall the two that you have over there. Recall, my, my, my rogues, I need them back. Por favor. I uh, forget what day the bundle drawing was. Um, it is going to be the end of the month, so we're still allowing people to enter until the end of the month. That cost me a long time. All right, your turn. You gonna make a drink? Or you're gonna recruit Let's those go people to get. <laughs> okay, I'm going to. Right. Uh, this one gives you green. This one gives you yellow. Right now, there's more yellow than there is green. It does give you a corruption though. I know. Yeah, but you take that and you activate the corruption thing to get rid of the corruption. So, so no. wait, I get corruption, but it well, you might you might actually like that corruption better. Yes, but you activate whichever ones you want to activate. Do you want to flip a bed, or do you want to take? You want to do this, right? You want to get five dollars for that for the first one, right? Mm -hmm. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to get rid of. And then you can take a guy from the brawl and put him on a chair. Yeah, that's what this one is. You take him from the brawl and you put him on a chair. And then that one allows you to discard a corruption. Got it. Received your copies of uh, Similo Animals and Similo Spookies today. I don't know what Similo is. Similo. Now remember, the color tokens also give you points. In the corruption. If they outweigh the corruption. Now you gotta think about it. If my rogues are all out, then you're not gonna have any corruption hit you. If everything is, it's gonna be one corruption, right? Because remember, it's the corruption times the number of. I forgot. So if there are like this many more people, that would be one three corruption? times. No, that's three times. My three people. That's nine. Mm -hmm. But that one would allow if I had a. You could discard a, a large good to get rid of it too. Okay. 
But again, that's are my rogues going to be in here at the end of that turn? Don't know. Right? All right, and that cost you two. One, two. And then we got to refill. All right. <laughs> of course, that one comes out. All right. Um, so you get to do two meat plays. Yeah, he said he is Similio. Mas verde. No, not there. I need that one. Not in that one. You want to bring you want to bring the blue boat in? Is that what you're saying? To the middle? Hey, then I need to put them there. Both to, get two. to guarantee. Oh my god. Are only those as well. Use these guys go here. All right, so back to me. All right, so now I'm going to go one, two, one, two. I'm going to do Chica again. I get one Verde, and then I get one Corrupción, and then I have to take a Corrupción. Uh, which gives me one, two. Oh, that's a new one. This one specifically, you have to get rid of a green small. I don't know if I've ever seen one that specifically you had to do a spin. I've seen where you got to discard a small or a large, but not where that. That was specifically a color that you had to discard. Oh, I forgot to put my meat blade there because he went and did that. All right. And then that uh, is one time. So one time. Um, so I'm going to put him in this one. Draws a corruption. Gives me plus one. All right. Um, hmm. There's green guys and blue guys there. I have no blue. There's no blue for me to buy. Red doesn't help me there either. Um, hmm. I'm going to go here, one, I'm going to put a rogue in the, I'm going to put a rogue in the yellow, I think, and that cost me one time, all right, do it there, no. Because you haven't made your green bed yet. No, my blue, I'm sorry. You haven't made a green bed yet. Oh, not green. You're running out, you're running... Well, you do have two turns left, but I don't want you to forget about not making your green bed. Okay, so that a day. All right, and that's one time. And your turn again. Oh, because, yeah, you didn't have anything to sell those. I mean, you can sell the ones, the red one to these guys, but you have to take more corruption. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I put in the... I know I put in the townsfolk. I always put in the townsfolk with the minus corruption. Did I not do that this time? I always, We always play with the townsfolk. Because that's the only way to get rid of corruption. Yeah, they're in there. The, the townsfolk are in there. We just haven't found them yet. So, did you move that one for me? Mm. The first time. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. So, you can bring in that other boat if you want to. Or, you can try to bring in the blue and red boat over there. Which, technically, you can bring in either boat. You're, so, for me to get the least amount of points, you want to bring in that boat. Because then, so, you at least have a red. And the, you have three blues. The, well, remember, this also has to have a majority of the color that you need. So this is good. Majority is red. Here it's tie. Um, but if you put the other blue, then it's guaranteed majority. You did this one. 
but then you at least have more to sell to, right? These guys. I only didn't have one. Oh, yeah, one spot. No, that was that was the boat I just tossed. Sorry, that was that one. No, there's no more. That's it. There we go. Uh, if the colors are tied, yeah, if they're tied, you get to choose. So you would have gotten to choose either. Okay. But that that's more beneficial because now there's more blue and a red that you didn't have before to sell the small goods at. All right, so me turno. Oh, I don't have any small blue goods. Well, I can make small blue goods. Okay, um, I'm going to go and one, two, one, two. I'm going to send my last guy to counterfeit the large good, large blue. It goes up two, one, two. Um, and then that cost me two time. One, two. See? See. I don't understand why we can get on the rats. And... Hmm? How can we just get the rats out and when we can't? Sometimes we skip that. Yeah. Oh, it's when you start. They just they just move the starting so that way the, the future rounds are smaller. Uh, because I did a counterfeit action, I have to get rid of two goods. So I'm going to get rid of... I don't need the small yellow. Get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. One, two. All right. Selling time. All right. So green, large green. I don't have a large green, so it doesn't matter for me. I don't have a large yellow. Um, you have a green, so you get to six. Now, is it? Did we mess up that other time? Is it only the one that you take in scores? Not everybody that's at the pier. The pier is just the drinks. Be right here. Uh, take one customer a road by placing the bed. Customers taken to the bazaar, left pier. Rogues are dead. Uh, for each bedroom matching customer, gain gold printed on the bed. For each bedroom with a matching customer so and bed, so one. And then you score who's at your at your table. Okay. So that is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you don't have anybody there. I can't do anything with these guys, so you go back. All right. Uh, blue, I can sell blue small goods. So it's eight times four. It's 32. Where am I? I'm way up here. Uh, 32 plus 52 is 84. Right, and then you get to take one. So you get eight for him. Eight, and then you get 16 because you have two guys in the in the chairs. That is 91, 91. Uh, and then there were four guys times four. So four times four is 16. That's 10 is 101 and six is 105. No, 107. All right. You guys are done. All right. Um, then the green guys, you don't, you can't sell to green because you're not green. I can, so mine is. Oops, I'll take that down to zero. Uh, six times three is eighteen. Eighteen, eighty-four, ninety, one hundred two. Uh oh. Sunday. Underneath foot. Underneath foot. I got it. I got it. 102. Oh man. All right. So 102. Um, so that is that. Oops. I forgot my one. My 100. Uh, so that's these guys. Uh, I don't have a small red, so I can't sell to them. All right. So you have a red. Yep. Um, so, but I got I got big red. So 18. 18 times four. Is 18, 18 is 36, 36 times 2 is 72. 72 plus 102 is 74. 
Watch those already long. That's why I made sure that boat came in. Um, and then you get one, so six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you don't have any red guys at your tables yet. Oh, uh, but I didn't sell this guy. Um, did you want to sell that to the... To and take a corruption? And you got a lot of corruption right now. Up to you, Mimor. No? That's a lot of actions to get rid of. Well, we're hoping a townsperson comes out. Alright, so get them in there. Get them in there. Alright. Um, so... Down to zero. And then loyalty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and seventy-four is eighty-two. Um, and then I got one guy here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That puts me at eighty-eight. Wow, that was a big turn for me. Because that red, that right there, bringing those guys in, that was huge. All right. So, right. All right. Don't go anywhere. All right. Yeah. Nope, not the corruption, no. dude. Although, I mean, again, it's 12 points. And that's a that's a big one. <clears throat> All right. So you were behind. So that means you get to go first. All right. Oh, boats. Boats. Um, we need a. We need a four. Boats, 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 two stays. Two. All right, sign off. All right, thanks, Christina. Thanks for coming out. Good night. Good night. Buenas noches. Yeah, three, because it's five, because we're playing with the two. We haven't been. We haven't brought the dinghy in the last couple games. No. For the extras. I mean, that's the point of the dinghy, so that way you can get like two extra uh, guys in one of these docks, and we just forget about doing it. Okay. Ah! Rogue down. Rogue one down. <laughs> Star Wars. Um. <laughs> All right. Okay, you go first. Oh, you forgot to put all your your guys on chairs. Oh, you can't get any more blue guys. I mean, you can, but the problem is if you if you get one, then they go into the brawl. Wait, those ones? Yeah, those go back. Yep, those go back. Right. My guy oh, stays until I call him back. Yep. All right. So um, your turn. Hmm. Well, big beds. You've got red and blue over there. The problem is, remember, here's the only thing. They only flip to... Oh, no. I think you can flip or swap, right? You can flip or swap. I think it's both. You know what I'm saying? The problem is red doesn't flip over to green. You may freely sw swap flip and or move beds between rooms yeah so if you have two beds you can move it or you can just move a bed from one room to the other that's what i thought it did all that okay so yeah it doesn't matter what you build if you need a blue one you just need to make sure you make a blue one so that you can move it all right so that is one axion there's not a lot of meeples left in there this one I know you want red, you know you want to put them in that last one. <laughs> put a <football>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so I have no intel. All right, All right. you're going to make some, you're bringing in some red guys. Um, so I will. I don't have any guys. I got I to gotta bring my guys back. That costs me one. Bring three guys back. One. Oh my guys. Oh, two. Where's my, where are my rogues at? 
Uh, I want those three to stay out there. Uh, and I want these two guys staying there. They're kind of valuable to me. That's fine. I'll, I'll try to make do with two. Because I just it just means i got to take a couple more bring them back actions. Alright, so that's fine. I brought them back. That was one time. Joe. Alright, I get to go again. I think I'm going to do the... Um, I have no... Oops, hang on. I can move this up one. Um, so I can move one. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. I'm going to keep... Um, I get to keep two of them. Um, I'll keep these two. <laughs> I don't like this one. It just, it's looking at me funny. <laughs> one, two. Alright. Uh, wow, that calls me two time for next to nothing. One, two. That's fine. We get to draw another one. Uh, two more. One, two. All right. Good tarde, no. Good night, David. Thanks for coming out and joining us, man. We appreciate it. Good night, David. Buenas noches. Is that good nachos? Good night, Jim. Buenas nachos. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh, we had chips with guacamole. We had. For lunch. We had. Oh, you meant for Christina. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm doing. I'm, I don't know what you're doing. Can you make the other bed? bed? Not gonna be many. Well. There'll be blue guys if you can get that, that big boat to come but in. But I cannot get blue guys. Well, there's two blue guys there. Well, yes, no, you will, you'll one. take, you're right, you'll take corruption cards. Yeah. You'll be here all night? Yeah, this one, Merchant's Cove definitely takes the full two hours that we planned for a stream. Most of the other games lately have been taking 30, 45 minutes. No. That's a corruption card. No. <laughs> That's about a day. Mm -hmm. You want guaranteed yellow? You can bring that boat in. Well, yeah, there. Well, there's a lot of yellow out. I don't. I don't know the math of the meeples. I don't know like how many of each no. one. That's like most of the games give us player aids saying how many of things are yeah. in it, and we're like, like I'm gonna remember this. But like in this game, having a player aid that said, "Oh, there's twelve of this color, twelve of," it, I think it says in the rule book. Um, but a player aid would have been nice. All right, so my turn. All right, so yellow goods. I need red goods. So if I go here and I go hmm. I need a guarantee I can get the two uh, there nine should be nine yellow. yellow nine blue 13 of all others and the keepers in play ah uh, yeah it said in your setup it says in your setup how many there are oh that is right I don't know for me studio I was like I was trying to figure out like why why does it matter? Like me, I think I, I just throw all the meeples in. I don't take any meeples out. I throw them all in the bag and just go for it. I'm like the mathematically, the odds are the same when you throw the same number of everything else back in. One, two. Why two. Where are we? Where are we? Bards. Yeah, bards are the uh, green ones. Also the yellow ones. Yellow ones, yeah. These are blue ones. Yeah. That cost me two time. One, two. I get to draw on me, please. Still don't have a large red good, though. Verde. I don't even have green goods. Oh, this is getting tough. I don't have blue. I have no goods. All right. Do that or no? Let the microphone get by me. 
Hmm. Only if I drink. One to make. I'm gonna eat you because that's what you're standing under. Unless you decide one of the other two. Because you got one guy standing there. That one's not bad. There's a red guy and there's yellow guys. Remember, this is the final round, so whatever whatever you make, whatever you earn, is what you get. Alright, so you go one, you get to go again. Yeah, you might have a red one. So if you don't have a bed, do you technically have to take a patron? It's just if the bed color doesn't, doesn't match, right? It's just only does, if it doesn't match. You mean to put them here? Yeah. No, I think if they cannot go to bed, then they then I need to take it here. I, don't, I think it's only if it if it doesn't match. If there are no vacant matching colored seats. No, that's the um, colored seats. For each bedroom. Yeah, it says place rogues and customers without a bed into a brawl. If possible, place each customer into a bed in your shop board. Each peer take one custom. Oh yeah, it says for each peer, so you have to take. So you have to make three beds. It's like mandatory for you to make three beds. Okay. Uh, so that was two time. One, two. All right. Uh, draw uno. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So you have to get some. Something's going to dock there, but the problem is. The only thing you can guarantee is green. You can guarantee green's gonna dock there because there's a green on each one. And you can increase that. You definitely don't want to put it in that no. boat. In the yellow. Yeah, that, if you do that, that'll start making that more than, which is really what I'm going for. I hate to tell you that. You'll have to flip that bed over and do it or something. Because that's what I'm gonna do is bring that big boat in over here. Which then is going to have more greens than your yellows. So you can, if you can get another yellow and put it in the dinghy, because then the dinghy would make that bigger. Alright, um, I need large red goods. Large red goods. I'm going to go one, two, one, two. I'm going to counterfeit your bed. That gives me one, two. And I have to lose two. One, two. Um, yeah, and then that cost me two time. One, two. Mm -hmm. Can't pour drinks without the bed above. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's the puzzle. Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. I'd rather be in this room. All right. Oh, I get to go again? You don't say. <laughs> so I have to increase that one so I can actually move. Mm. All right. So I will bring back him. We'll bring back him. Is that all my guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's my rogues at? Three on the board. Yeah, so seven. I have seven total and then eights. This guy here. Okay. Um, that cost me one time. Oh. It's only like four guys left in here. No, it's not fine, William. It's it's muy bien. It's not. It's I I like exactly what that did. I'm quite happy with what that did. Although it gave you another oh, yellow. Yeah, so oh no, I'm not as happy. I didn't notice the other one was a yellow. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh man. Because it needed two to bring it in, right? Did need two or needed one? Like that, like that. It's hang on, hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Ah! Uh? It can. There was a boat, the big boat, and the little boat. That that was nine. So why did you put that on there? Because it was in my hand, and I just sat him there. He wasn't the one that was bringing in. The blue one was the one bringing it in. William, 
Don't cheat. I'm not cheating. There should be nine guys there, right? Five and four. I put the blue guy to fill that boat up, and this was the one that was still in my hand from my second deck. I'm gonna flip the bed. No, it's called flipping the table. When you play board games and you're unhappy, you don't flip the bed, you flip the table. And I flip them. Well, that, it flips blue. Yeah, blue works for you. Okay. No, what? Blue works for you. There's blue. Blue is the majority. Why can't I do it green? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, the rogue. I've left the rogue there since I put him there. Rogue's ten. It's ten. Yeah. Why can't I flip? No, this? you you can, because blue is good. You're good flipping it over no, to blue. No, green. Why can't I do green? If because I that bed's also... that bed's not green. That bed is blue no, or yellow. No, by flipping. Oh, it's yellow on the green on the other side. Oh they yeah. They are all different. They are like combined different. Oh uh, okay. So see, yes. So when you're yeah for your turn, you can use your people action. Mm -hmm. But you want to do anyways because you gotta get rid of some of that corruption. So, mm -hmm. good, good, good. so go to your P play action. Better wait, is it here? See, do I don't know. Ah, the green guy was blending in. He's he's taking a swim. Or fishing. I do this. So you do one. that one first. Yeah. Right? Uh, you don't have anybody in the brawl to move, so you're good there. Um, and then you can get rid of a corruption. You get to do all the actions when you go there. That's where we keep missing when we played the other ones. We haven't filled up our townsfolk, so we failed to do that extra action. Oh, uh, this would give me points for each one, huh? Well, the problem for is right right I... now you would lose more points than you would gain. This would give you two, but you would lose four if my guys are still there at the end of the game. All right, and that was. Oops, the wrong one. That one. Two. Uh, one, two, uh, you don't have to do that because, oh, hang on, I got When, when all of it fills up, you're supposed to move that back one, so you won't be able to, you're going to have to take a guy and take a loss on that last one, or take a corruption card, which is fine, you discarded a corruption card, it's kind of a net gain. It's that way it forces the game end, is why it does that. It just forces the game end. Um, Alright, so I get one more turn. Um, oh, green guy was. Yeah, he said that the oh. green guy was running in. Well, I have, I have nothing to sell at that second one. I have no green. And I have no yellow. So I have yellow. So I can sell to the yellow guys. I can't. I have no green and no blue to sell to those guys. And no green or blue out in the field. I'm going to take one more action. I'm not going to be able to make anything. Because I can counterfeit yellow from you. Well, I can counterfeit green. I kind of fit a large green. That would give me six times three. I uh, used a Kraken Rogue who starts the game with four rogues in the lair. It was terrifying because the Kraken also kills a customer from a boat if you pull the one rogue that's in the bag. Ooh! <laughs> that's scary. Alright, so this gives me three times six. That gives me 18. And this will give me one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, it's better for me to duplicate an item then. Oh no, but I, to duplicate I have to lose my movement. I have to lose one to gain one. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna send him there. And that was one time. All right. Oh. All right. The first one, big reds. So let me sell before you do anything. So that's 48. Um, 48 and 88 is 96. And 4 is 1. Eighty-eight plus, what did I say it was? 48. 8 and 8 is 16, 1 to 9, 96. 96 plus 4 is 
130, so 13. All right, that's not for me. And then you take a red guy. So you get six, 12. Uh, which is 25. Gone. Um, green, have no green to sell. So you get six, 12. Uh, so that puts you at 37. Can't sell those guys. Um, small red, you get 6. six. 37, so that's 46. No, 43. Oh, what's that? 37. Um. Small blue, I can't sell to small blue. You can't smell to smell. <laughs> no, can't I can't sell smell to small either. blue. Um, yeah, Stinky Pete didn't make it in the boat. He didn't make it. Um, two, eight. Eight, and uh, 51. I need to have one here. Mm -mm, that's based on the bed being available. Um, oh. And then you don't have any to do that, so you basically have to take. In there. Incorporation, which is D. Oh, forgot to bring these guys in. Alright, those are gone. Oh, I forgot to sell my small yellow. How many yellow guys were there? Two, right? Yeah, two times four, so eight. Uh, which is 21. Alright. Uh, now we do sponsorships, which you can't get sponsorships. We didn't get them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we've already by two hundred. Yep, thirty-one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-seven. I'm about to lap you. <laughs> that's no good. All right. Um. So that's that. Uh, now we count the ones for your people. So you have green, so two times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16. That puts you at 67. And then blue, so two, but you lose one, so one. And then yellow, one, two, three, four, five, six. But you lose one, so five. Three, three, four, five. Where are your yeah, your red thingies? Oh. Over there. Um. So that's that, and then your corruption cards. Okay. All the all ones. Three, four. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Corruption was a big points loss for every card. Yeah, well, luckily she only had one. There's only one rogue here. Now, here's the thing. It's a multiplicative. Multiplicate. Mul you multiply. Multiplicative. I don't know. You multiply. Multiplicative? Yeah. But, like, if there's zero here, then it would be... There, it's impossible for there to be zero here in a normal game. But in a rogue game, it could be zero. So it would be possible that you actually could end up with zero corruption. Because if I had actually used him... Oh, see. Then it would have been zero, and you wouldn't have taken it. You wouldn't have taken a hit on any of those two or that one that you had there. There you go. That is that. So two thirty-seven to one sixty-five. No, you kicked my butt. You kicked my butt with the uh, Dragon Rancher. You had no, two something. You had two something. I think I made it to two hundred, and then my corruption because I took that big corruption thing brought me back below two hundred. Um, but there you go, guys. That is Merchant's Cove. Uh, that is the Thief and the Innkeeper. Those are the last two. Team Oddity all day long. Fire. He doesn't care whether you win, <laughs> lose, or draw. Uh, we hope you guys like this Merchant Cove playthrough. Uh, of course, when we get the Entertainer that comes with Bardwood Grove, we'll have to come back and revisit it again. Uh, if you want to see some more Merchant Cove gameplay, subscribe, bell notification, all that stuff. Maybe comment down below and let us know what 
uh, characters you'd like to see played against each other, uh, or even what rogue packs you'd like to see. Uh, as Laniston mentioned, of course, uh, you do have the rogue packs that add a lot of variety, like the Kraken, he said, basically just, you know, if the Kraken comes out, it's like just the end of the world, right? Because you take that last rogue of the Kraken, and I think that'd be fun. Uh, there's also robots, there's there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of them. They, they all have special rules. I mean, there's, I mean, this this is this is how many there are. Whoops. Uh, that's yeah, how many that, they that, are. That's, that's they how are. many. There's so many, I can't hold them all. <laughs> Uh, but there you go guys uh, next week we hope to get our live streams in we do have family coming into town uh, so we hope to get a couple of the live streams in uh, but we will we'll be streaming during Thanksgiving week except for Thanksgiving we're definitely not streaming on Thanksgiving uh, we do have a couple Kickstarter gameplays coming up uh, if you saw on our Instagram uh, we do have those coming up um, I think that's it that's it that's it I think he says that it. <laughs> I like this one you like that you do like, like you like the innkeeper better than the dragons Better than the dragons. Yeah, even though they had poop, but this one, sort of, <laughs> I don't know. I like this one a lot. You, instead of cleaning poop, you're cleaning beds. That's somebody might have pooped in. Human poop. Human poop. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, guys. But until next time. Adios. Peace.